அடுத்து கன்னடத்தில் பால் புதுமையினர் இலக்கியம் அப்படின்ற தலைப்பில் வசுதேந்திரா பேசுவாங்க வசுதேந்திரா கர்நாடகாவில் பல்லாரி மாவட்டத்தில் உள்ள சாந்தூரில் பிறந்தவர் கர்ன் கன்னட எழுத்தாளரான இவர் சந்த புஸ்தகா அப்படின்ற பதிப்பகத்தை நிறுவி நடத்தி வரார் அதோட சந்த புஸ்தகா அப்படின்ற பேரில் விருதும் கொடுத்துக்கிட்டு இருக்கார் பயிற்சி பெற்ற ஆலோசகரான இவர் பால் புதுமையினருக்கு இலவச ஆலோசனையும் ஆதரவும் வழங்குகிறார் இவரோட பதினைஞ்சு கன்னட புத்தகங்களும் ஒரு லட்சம் பிரதிகளுக்கு மேலே வித்திருக்கு கன்னட சாகித்ய அகாடமி உள் விருது உள்ளிட்ட பல விருதுகளையும் இவர் பெற்றிருக்கார் ஒரு இளம் போர்பால் ஈர்ப்பாளரின் வாழ்வை பதிவு செய்யும் மோகனசுவாமி கதை தொகுப்பு ஆங்கிலம் ஸ்பானிஷ் தெலுங்கு மலையாளத்தில் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டிருக்கு தமிழ் மலையாளம் சாரி தமிழ் மராத்தி ஹிந்திலையும் இந்த புத்தகம் மொழிபெயர்க்கப்பட்டு வருது நன்றி everybody i'll speak in english at, uh, only kannada or english i can manage but not tamil i'm sorry about it uh, good evening everybody and first i would like to thank and congratulate this chennai quiz team for taking this courageous decision to conduct the event this is a start but i'm sure down the line it's going to be a very big event we all look forward for those days Okay, so I would like to thank Mauli and his team and the entire Chennai Kree team for conducting this event. Uh, I will start the presentation more in reference to my book, which he introduced, is a Mohan Swami. And along with it, I say how the responses came and what is the relation, why such response came and what is it connected to the Kannada literature. Why such kind of a, a responses came to me. So that's the way I would like to. conduct the session a book can give name and fame this definitely i have received it quite extensively with all my previous books but this book in particular gave me life my life back so i'll explain throughout my sessions why it's so why it became so important to me this book now is available as he said in the introduction is available in malayalam those who want to read it in malayalam it's there it's there in english of course and there in telugu also now and also in spanish in all these four languages it's been published so whichever you are comfortable with you can read and next year it's coming in tamil and uh, hindi and marathi so amazon is publishing all the three uh, books so let's wait for that so what happened yeah i'll start with how people react to the book and what is it has in connection with kannada literature when i decided that i want to write this book and i want to publish this book i said now i had to tell to my friends that i'm coming out they didn't know i was in closet till almost been till i'm 41 or 42 i was in closet i had never told to anyone about my sexuality i said i cannot publish this book without informing without telling my friends close friends so i one of my friend who is a critic in canada who is a canada professor okay in a big university when i told him that the immediate reaction from him was when you stayed in uk i, I was in england for quite some time i was so, i'm a software engineer basically so for at least four five years i was staying in england i was working there he said when you were in england did this gay virus bite you okay did this gay virus bite you that's why you got this so there are two things or not one is like many indians he also thinks that it's a disease which comes from something like a gay virus like that and second one is it's so innocent like they always think that it comes from outside india and not from within india there are two things why did they think so okay it definitely has to do with that literature itself leave him has a and also he reads only kannada he doesn't know he doesn't read english he doesn't know how to read english if you take it my case itself during my college days the engineering college i was i was studying in nit k suratkar during my college days i did not know even the term gay 
because i was studying only i was reading only kannada literature and kannada newspapers only technical books whatever is required which i was studying in english that's my background because i come from a very small village my background is 100% kannada medium other than kannada i did not know any other language so what i happened is i was i used to desperate to see is there any information available in kannada which talks about me or someone like me absolutely none but suddenly one day in a newspaper in a newspaper there was a question answer session with a doctor kind of a person where a boy had asked him i get attracted to other boys what is the reason okay what is the reason why i get attracted the doctor had said is a doctor but he said it's something to do with nagadosha <laughs> it's a sin of serpent someone would have killed so if you go and pray to naga devata every day you will come out of this you will become straight okay then what i did i am reading alone like i don't know anybody to share that also it looks uh, quite innocent if you tell now but that's how the case at first and i started going to temple every day and praying to the uh, the the god of serpent god so please make me straight somehow convert me to straight kind of a thing i didn't know the terms also straight and gay also nothing happened okay so i was also as innocent as my uh, critic whom who said but like leave it when this book came third person is a very senior feminist she is a doctor okay the question she asked was very interesting she called me i heard that because i came out this book was coming out for me okay in the newspaper interviews and all i said very clearly this is based on my autobiographical so many things of autobiographical but of course it's a fiction consider it as a fiction but it's based on my uh, my life incidents only and i'm a gay i openly told that with a lot of courage for the first time to the open public then she called me um and because by that time i had already published 12 books this was this is my 13th book okay and uh, my books are sold very well in the um, uh, shops okay so generally uh, i sell in big numbers my um, i have big readership so i was very afraid actually even to publish this book but i took courage and pub publish this book and the question she asked the lady is once you come to know that you are a gay did you go for castration immediately she asked me okay so i think her thinking is something very different i said madam you are a doctor so i am a gay and that's very important part for me being a doctor if you can make if you can somehow with some operation if you can add one more uh, uh, part then i will enjoy my life much better i do okay these are all the responses why i'm giving is that's the kind of awareness a general public has what is the reason so why it was like this is in canada the references of gay men it's only mainly gay the lesbians and other things i don't even see them at all even the trans so the gay men has come but the way it has been presented is if you want to make a character a male character as the ultimate sinful person he is the most dangerous person then you make him a gay that was the kind of a writing which has come in canada it's not from small small writers the first example i am going to give as shivram karan shivram karan has got nanapita award the third nanapita award in canada canada has got eight nanapita awards if you are wait so eight nanapita awards the third is to shiram karan he i consider him as my guru he is a very very brilliant author and uh, is a great uh, person as well as a great novelist but his idea is like his mukherjee kansagalu for which he has got the nanapita award what he does is he wants to show how the human race from the stone age to the pre present day how it has lost its value system so innocent he was during the stone age and today how bad he has become so that is the journey the book is book is a beautiful book but the ending way he stops is he converts claims that the person that protagonist who comes is the gay 
that is the ultimate sin anybody can do and he concludes his novel which got the Gnanakita award. It's because of the lack of knowledge, nothing to do with Karan. Karan did not know most probably. That's the one thing most of the authors have done. When you want to create a last person in your novel or in your short story, make him a game. Okay? The second one was is a much different one. The other authors, those who called as a, a progressive authors like you are Anant Murthy, or it could be S.L. Bharapa, or it could be many others. So this is a very famous author. What their idea was something different. Even Masti, for that matter. Masti, all of them have got the Gnana Pita Award, except Bharapa. So other two have got the Gnana Pita Award. So their idea was, this tendency is like, when you don't have girls around you, a woman around you, a man will become a gay. So once a woman comes in contact in his life, he will automatically become a normal. So like it's kind of a disease. That's how it is. So everyone, all the three of them, Masti, Yuvar, Anand Murthy, as well as Bhairapa, they take this stand. They have references, very minor reference. That's not the major story subject at all. But within their novel, within their short story, that reference comes. So their idea is, if you are not getting a girl, then take a boy. That's a temporary situation. That's how they looked at, at the gay man. There was another person, he has a Kenta Sahitya Academy Award winner. His name is Chittal. He is a great author. I am not, uh, please take it, they are all very great authors. I am not uh, uh, talking with the, uh, disrespect to them. They are all very good authors, but their stand on the gay uh, issues are like this. Here, what he says, he portrays a gay kind of a character. The person, he is, he is some girl is loving him. And he realizes that he cannot have sex with him or he cannot get attracted to him and he commits suicide. The idea of the story is what they are trying to guess thing. If you are not able to have intercourse with a woman, then your madness is of no use. The only solution for you is committing death. That makes suicide. That's the kind of a story which is there in Canada. That is, that's also got Kendra Sahith Academy Award. Okay, there's another sign. But to be frank, there's another, I don't want to name the person. He wrote a lot of stories and novels in support of Naxalites and terrors. He, he is like, he's considered as the most progressive author. He wrote in support of Naxalites and uh, uh, terrors. But when it came to gay, when I released my book, he got wild. He said, these are the things which will, uh, which will spoil the society. You cannot write that kind of a subject. So he's okay with Naxalites. He's okay with terrorists, but he's not okay with the gay man. That's the stand he took. There was some a seminar they wanted to conduct. All the secretaries were uh, supposed to conduct a seminar based on my book and to discuss on the subject. He objected for that. You cannot have that kind of a seminar. It will spoil our society. Okay. So that's the response. But to be frank, there's one person you might have heard the name is uh, Lankesh. You, you would have all heard the Gauri Lankesh name actually. But uh, his, her father, Lankesh, is a big author in Canada. He's a journalist and very progressive. He is quite good. He does small change in his narrative. What happened? He wrote an autobiography. In this autobiography, he tells one story where he was supposed to participate in a seminar. Okay, Canada seminar in one part of Karnataka. In that seminar, what happens is generally, they, when there is a seminar, they will allocate the same room to two authors. Right? So you both are going to share the particular room. So Canada is like that only because of the cost. And the person who was supposed to be partner in his uh, hotel room was known as a gay. It's more of a gossip. Nothing has been announced or now no one has come out or something. So this author, Lankesh, got so scared. Okay. I am going to sleep in a hotel room where the other person is a gay. Is he going to rape me tonight? Is he going to approach me? Or is he going to do some damage to my this thing? And all he's, he, he got so scared. And he tells me later on that story, the entire night, I could not sleep. I was aware that any moment he can come to me. But till the morning, from night to the morning, the gay man, he slept peacefully. 
without any problem. Okay, so then he realizes, I think there is something wrong with me. He was so normal. He was sleeping so well. And it's me who was so afraid of him. Okay, then he says, then he starts calling his ex, uh, some, some memory he says, in the childhood as well as in, in my youth, I am definitely attracted to men, but I was scared. He, he mentions that in his autobiography, which is very remarkable according to me. That was the first time someone spoke positively. It was somewhere around 96 or so, if I remember. I'm, I'm not sure, around 96, I think. So someone spoke very positively about the queerness. Okay? But after my book came, I'm so happy. Some things are quite positive. Many, I had, I said I had many readers, one family, which is a very traditional family, mother as well as her son, both of them are my readers, okay. So they used to read whatever I, it's, they used to read. They read Mohan Swami completely, they liked it. Now the thing is, this boy, okay, he's already 29 and he's not married. He was not married at the time. So mother got worried actually. So she wants to check with him is he a gay but being a traditional family a mother asking her son are you a gay is a very difficult question but after this book came she immediately went and asked him it seems are you a Mohan Swami so that was an easy word to use rather than a gay are you a Mohan Swami then her son told it no man nothing of that I'll wait for one more year I'll marry so don't push me so much I'm not Mohan Swami he said it then she called me over the phone and she said I'm thankful to God, my son is not Mohan Swami, she said. See, this gave me lot of positive vibes within me because a mother can speak to her son, a traditional family mother can speak to her son and ask him, are you a gay? That's a tremendous improvement in the society, right? I was very, very uh, thrilled with this incident, okay? So, that's the one. But what is the reason, like whether it helped someone or not is a different issue. But really it helped me a lot. I felt relieved. That's why I said it gave me life. It, it may not have given me name and fame, but it gave me life. I'll give you an example. It's much easier to speak through the uh, small stories kind of a thing. What used to happen is before coming out and after coming out, the difference. I stay in an apartment complex. It's a very big apartment complex. It's called as Mantri Paradise. It's there in the Banagata Road. Thing is, I stay alone. So whenever a courier comes, whenever the courier comes, the courier person calls you that from the security saying that there is a courier for you, right? So the only when I approve that, okay, bring it inside, then they will send the courier boy inside. So, when this boy calls and I pick up the phone and say, uh, what is it, like that, then immediately he'll say, Madam, there is a courier for you. Because my voice is very effeminate, right? So, it's feminine. So, it used to disturb me a lot in the beginning days, you know, so before coming out. Like, because he calls Madam. He keeps on continuously saying that, Madam, yes, Madam, I'm coming there, Madam, like that. It used to depress me a lot. Okay, so why he is not able to understand that I am a man and not a woman kind of a thing which was there. After this book came, nothing to hide. Everyone knows what it is and all of everyone has read the uh, new, uh, in my interviews in the newspapers and all. So it became better. Now if the boy calls, the same incident, same courier boy, if he calls and says, Madam, so Madam there is a courier, I'll tell him. Cool, the Madam is waiting, she is alone at home. Please come and deliver the courier. <laughs> okay, the boy general, these courier, courier boys are very good looking. So young boss, so he will come all the way so, and ring the bell and I'll open. So he's looking, expecting that madam will come and collect the courier. I will go and stand. He last, where is the madam? Okay, he'll, he'll get totally get stunned, right? So where is the madam? I said, I am the madam, give me the courier. Okay, so same incident, same incident. Previously, I used to be down and depressed for the entire day. And the same incident, 
keeps me happy the entire day looking at thinking at how much he he he, he got stunned that boy was so puzzled looking at me thinking that i'm not a maid so that makes me so happy so that's the difference that's all which we require so whether this book helps someone else or not it really has helped me a lot okay after my book has come very interestingly many new voices are coming in canada people have become very comfortable in writing gay lesbian trans subjects two novels have come which are not lesbians okay they are not lesbians interestingly they are all straight coming they are married with kids and all. I, i don't know maybe i should not tell that openly like this we don't know what is that but definitely on the outer side they never claimed themselves as a lesbian but they wrote novels and the gay person another gay person wrote one long story about the gay life so i feel good now people are writing it's time but what happens is whatever you do right writing from inside the community is very different from writing from the outside the community you can have sympathy but you cannot have empathy right so they cannot have that empathization i don't say totally i don't de- uh, deny that but it's very difficult for them to understand the turmoil which we go through i can give you an example a same the apartment example very interestingly there was a lady a married lady a malayali lady in my apartment for some reason she fell in love with me okay so generally i never experienced any girl falling in love with me so only i go beyond boys that's why it never happened the other way the so girl came back but some of this lady uh, was uh, fell in love and started sending me all kind of messages so you look so nice you could you're not gone for the uh, i i had a lot of hair at that time you're not gone for the saloon and all those things so go for saloon and all that kind of she dirty messages and all she started she went to the extent saying that my husband is not there tonight would you mind coming here to my uh, apartment and all so i kept quiet this is something is going somewhere else if i get caught by playing with us so it's it's not going to work for me and i'm not even interested with her so i kept quiet and quiet and afterwards suddenly my book came okay mohan swami came and what happened so my interviews came in all the english newspaper though that was a canada book but english newspaper carried a lot of interviews uh, hindu especially so then she came to know that i am a gay now her attitude changed she started sending me very very sympathetic messages you don't feel bad you are not alone in this world there are many people see this is american boy who has come out to his father she will send a video <laughs> what do i do with these things like so many sympathetic emails how do i stop it i have to stop it right so this so every day one one sympathetic message i can't take right i am not in that mood i am dating i am hooking up and all that so i am not in dirt of sex at all so finally i i said i want to stop this somehow what i did one day i took courage and sent my first message your husband is very cute and hot <laughs> Your husband, and he was very hard, definitely. Your husband is very hard and cute. Then she sent me three angry messages. You know the icons, the angry icons which are there, right? Three angry. Don't dare to touch him. Then she sent a message. Now I thought we both are equal. Now she understood what a gay man means. Not the sympathy. or not the, something putting me to the highest level saying that i am the greatest man kind of thing so that's what we are looking for that's why i say i don't like if a story ends up where a gay man hangs himself because someone came to know about his sexuality or his mother came out about his sexuality no way don't write such kind of stories at all now we are in age we are proud and ready to tell ourselves this is my sexuality this is how i live so my mohan swami whatever the problems he faces he will never die <laughs> so that was there so that's one thing which had to be clear but there was another thing which was very interesting for me a lot of gay men across karnataka started calling me you know like what has happened till then they have never read anything like this 
someone who openly talks about the gay sex, gay affairs, gay relations, everything, so much things which I am writing, they have never experienced anything like that. And in Canada, generally, what do we do when I publish book? We give our mobile number and email ID. It's not like English because hardly how many people will read. So, I have sold only 6,000 copies of my Mohan Swami, nothing more than that. So very few people will call, right? Not more than that. So, so people started calling and telling me, I have gone through the same problem. I have gone through the same problem. I have gone through the same problem. This became like small villages from North Karnataka to the South Karnataka. So everywhere I started getting phone calls, which made me feel very good. This, I, I, I'm a trained counselor. I can, I can do counseling very well. So I'm a I do, uh, I, it's as a community service. I do free counseling for all the uh, uh, LGBT communities. So people keep coming to my home for the counseling service to take certain service. So I know how to handle uh, when a phone call comes with someone like that. So many people started calling me. Not only just young boys, even a person of 82, he called me. He said, I'm suffering till today. I never had the courage to tell anybody, I got married, I got two kids. Now I don't know what is it like. I'm just living. It's the kind of a discussions they had. It's very sad uh, discussions which I had with all of them. Then only I realized that this is the problem. It's not mine alone. It's a big community which is facing this problem. So, so many people, there are a lot of articles which has come on the people who met me, okay. So, one person by Srinath Peru, he went and spoke to each of them who called and met me, okay, to various part of Karnataka and then uh, he wrote a nice article about why did they come to me, what are their background and also uh, readers of Mohana Swami, if you search in your internet you will get that one. So that article came after this uh, book, that, that's one thing which I had. Then you realize people were desperate for something like that to be written. They wanted their story to be told. It's not just my story, it's their story. They need to be, they were, they were waiting for someone to write that one. And it is the case with all the regional writing. Fear, literature, whenever they conduct the, uh, whatever seminar, this is the one, one I had the, in Trivandrum also and all. But what I feel is, the most important thing is, we have to write it in regional languages. It has to come in Tamil, it has to come in Malayalam, it has to come in Kannada, it has to come in Telugu. English, there is plenty. We don't have to worry. But the people who are really in need of the queer literature as the regional language readers, that's where it's not there. So we have to be very proud in writing in our regional languages, or at least, if you don't know, at least translate it from the English to bring it to our native languages. There, that's where there is a need. The other way also is there. So I said I was telling my friends and all. There is my friend with whom I play squash. So I'm a squash player, okay? So I play uh, squash regularly. And this person is like, uh, he is a good friend of mine and we both play squash regularly. And I had to tell him. So um, this thing, so uh, this is what it is. So I one day I tell, so I need to, after the game is over, I said, no, I have to tell you. So I'm coming out. Uh, this is my book. I haven't told you till these days. I'm okay. And he listened to me and looked at me. He said, Osu, you know, you are successful because you are okay. You don't have to earn money for your wife. You don't have to earn your money for your sons. My son education and spending, spending more than 75 lakhs to send him to the US. And you don't have any of those things. You are fully, you are able to concentrate on your own and you can work towards your passions. You are so lucky. He said, so this is the other face of the queer life. I was always thinking that I'm a cursed man, you know, like once. Always I was in, under that impression that I'm a cursed man, so I'm not able to live like another. But one day when he said this, I realized this may be my strength. It's not my weakness. It's my strength. It has got its beautiful moments as well. I need to make use of that. That's all. So that's how it is. So to end it up, if really, if someone asks me, what do you want to be in your next life? That's a question, right? We, we believe in the uh, next life. Okay. So, Hindus, if someone asks me, my answer is very simple. I want to be reborn as gay. Because I know it very well how to lead a gay life now. What are all its strengths? 
how to deal with it from childhood to itself how to make use of it i know it very well now so i can manage my life much better in next time so i don't know how to be a straight man so it's better to be a gay man so next uh, life if i have i would like to be reborn as a gay and then the last one people in kannada especially literature world okay literature world is very different so there they always want you to tell whether you belong to a left group you are a leftist or you belong to a right wing so okay this is always asked for okay so you can't stand anywhere in between that's how it is actually so that difficult they made life so difficult with that so i say very clearly these days i am neither left nor right not straight very simple now after mohan swami has come now i am neither left nor right nor straight okay so thank you very much so this is all about the mohan swami along with that the kannada literature some of you might have liked the water paintings which i used in my presentation this is from a person called nils hendrik peterson he lives in denmark of course our community member so he had uh, uh, he had permitted me to use his uh, uh, paintings those of you who are interested you can go and look at it uh, in that website he has got many more paintings beautiful paintings related to queer community so that will be helpful that that's all from my side if you have any questions or anything i'm more than happy to answer please So far, you were a fan of Mona Sangar, it was a wonderful book. Oh, thank you very much. Uh, but then I have a question. Like, since you are a counselor, uh, do you think there is a need where uh, mental health and homosexuality should be justified? Like that sort of thing, because we usually have this ideology that it's a mental disorder. It's it's something <laughs> uh, like a disease that you will catch on. And another thing is, do we need more happy endings in our stories? Because that is also I tend to see this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for that question. So thing is, definitely there is a counselling help required for the queer community. Not because it's anything to do with the mental disorder. The problem is the society is so tough. Okay, not everyone is lucky to have such an atmosphere where they get support. So they, I myself, have gone through depression. i had to take antidepressants just because of this that i was in closet i went through a lot of tough time i have gone through so many psychiatrists and i had taken antidepressants and now i am fine i am much better in, in, in all way so i could not sleep for months one month continuously i did not sleep even for a single minute that's how it was that bad it was so there is a need for the counseling okay the more counselor especially from the community if they come it helps because once i tell them that i am also a gay like you they get confidence okay they get confidence and they start sharing more openly with you this is how it is there are other tough problems which i also face once i say that gay some boys like they start falling for me okay so can i come to your home and all night and all. no no i had as a counselor i had to control that these two lives are very different right so that kind of problems are also there but there is a need to tell them that i am from community i am one among you and i have also gone through the similar problems and this is how the life is we don't advise them as such it's not a like a, uh, this a, a session where we keep on giving them the tips nothing of that listening to them and say how things work are giving them some support where there are people who are gatherings going on so we have a every thursday evening we have a very nice gathering which happens in bangalore good as you we call it as very nice gathering which happens it helps it helped me as well okay so go there and mingle with the people okay or just go for a breakfast with the gay community so first you mingle and afterwards the other things come in your life okay that's very important and counseling support is very very important but the stories happy ending i'm not sure happy or sad it's it's very different but what is not required is at least from the community don't scare the gay community you know like uh, the drama which i saw the revathi acts the drama right he because his mother comes to know that his sexuality he commits suicide i say what kind of story it is i can't write like that because for me it should be courageous it might be the truth some 20 years back 
but now today it's not we need to be daring and bold enough i am able to write that also but still my tone is not to generate sympathy for a gay man i my aim is to generate the rights for the gay man okay so that's the different tone which i have used my stories <coughs> Conclude? Yes. Yeah. Thank you very much. Once again, Maori and team, this is a great event. Okay. There might be many chairs which are empty, but remember, when you conduct it within three, four years, you need much, much bigger hall than this. <laughs> the crowd will be that big. Okay. We'll aim for that one. Thanks, one and all. Bye. Thank you very much. <laughs>